In a weird twist of fate, Javier, known on TikTok under the username at Unico Sobreviviente, traveled to the future in 2027, and what he saw there completely blew his mind. The self-proclaimed Time Warper claimed he was the last human alive, and even showed proof of deserted streets that would otherwise be bustling with people. These bizarre videos that he has been posting since 2021 on his TikTok account have garnered massive attention, and many skeptics have started to believe everything he says. Javier's extraordinary story raises several critical questions. How did he travel to 2027? Why has humanity disappeared from the face of the Earth? Is Javier stuck in a parallel universe? But most importantly, is he telling the truth? Let's find out Javier's story and analyze if it could be true. Can you imagine your life if you woke up one day only to find yourself completely alone in the world? A terrifying thought, isn't it? But for one man, that's a stark reality he cannot escape. Or so he claims. This is the story of Javier, who goes by the name Unicos, which means lone survivor. According to his account, Javier woke up in a hospital one day with zero recollection of who he was. What made things worse was the fact that no one was around to assist him or answer his questions. The hospital was completely deserted. No doctors, no nurses, no patients. Javier, who had already woken up disoriented, began panicking as he realized something was very wrong. He immediately rushed outside the hospital to search for answers, or perhaps the better phrase is to search for life. But what he saw outside compounded his problems and left his mind reeling with shock. The streets outside were as deserted as the corridors inside the hospital. There wasn't a single person on the streets, no cars, not even a bird flying in the air. And that's when it hit him. The world had ended, and he was the last man standing. Javier's world had completely changed overnight. He was no longer living among family and friends. He wasn't even living in 2021 anymore. The only thing that remained constant was his connection to the internet. He posted his first video on TikTok under the username Unico Sobreviviente. The footage showed the city of Valencia, Spain, all empty with no humans around. He wrote in the video, I woke up in a hospital. It is 2027 today and I am all alone in this city. Humanity has been extinct. There is no one in the shopping centers. He captioned before the video cut to a visual of an empty clothing store. And that was just the beginning. Javier has been posting videos showing empty streets and no signs of life ever since. Obviously, his videos were met with mixed reactions, with most of the viewers calling him a bluff. Many claimed that he was filming his videos very early in the morning. Or perhaps he recorded lots of videos during the COVID-19 lockdown, and he's just releasing them now. But the mysterious TikTok content creator has been proving skeptics wrong from the beginning. According to Javier, after waking up in the hospital, completely unaware of who he was and how he got there, he slowly began to remember his past. He remembered that the year was 2021, but when he looked at the electronic devices around him, the date read 2027. It became clear to him that there was a connection between 2021 and 2027. Perhaps he was stuck in a parallel universe. Over time, he tried to convince his viewers that his claims were true. He began visiting famous places around the city and leaving a small package at a specific location. He then urged his viewers to look for them. Did he really do this during lockdowns and just leave those things there and then had this master plan of people finding them later, later on? And believe it or not, they found the package he had kept there. But what is truly mind-blowing is the difference in both videos, Javier and his viewers. When Javier places those packages, you can see the area is completely deserted. But when his viewers find them, their videos show the same location crowded with people. We're talking about Valencia, Spain which has a population of around 2.5 million people. The city is huge, and you find a crowd everywhere you go. This is one of the reasons more people have started to believe Javier's story. How is he always able to capture videos of areas that would otherwise be very crowded, totally empty? Several viewers claimed he made his videos very early in the morning when no one was around. So Javier began capturing videos at night, even showing the time to prove his point.
but he didn't stop there. Many viewers began requesting him to visit certain locations and show them if they were empty. The requests included visiting historic landmarks, churches, hospitals, and even a soccer stadium. He conceded and went exploring these places and recorded videos showing absolutely no one around. Someone even requested him to go to a Mercedes dealership, grab one, and drive away. To go to a Mercedes dealership and grab a Mercedes. So he finds his key right here. And sure enough, he went to a Mercedes dealership, grabbed a key, got into the car, and drove away. Isn't that incredible? Javier's continuous evidence that he was stuck alone in 2027 turned many skeptics into believers, and it wasn't long before people started commenting the same under his posts. What do you think about his video proof? Do you believe Javier is really living in a different timeline that is somehow connected to our own? Did he wake up in a parallel universe that is exactly like ours, just without anyone around? Is that even possible? We have heard about parallel universes in movies and sci-fi shows many times, but it's hard to imagine what it could be like or if it even existed. Let's try to explain it with an analogy inspired by the famous Netflix show Stranger Things. Imagine our own dimension as a tightrope, and all the people in it, including you, are acrobats on the tightrope. To an acrobat, the tightrope is flat. They can walk forward and backward along the rope, but that's it. They cannot turn upside down or plunge past the rope due to physical limitations. Now imagine a flea sitting on the same tightrope. The flea's movement is not as restricted as the acrobat's. It can go up and down. It can access the other dimensions of the tightrope. But this is where a bigger question arises. Shouldn't they both follow the same laws if the flea and acrobat exist in the same dimension? Why can't the acrobat become the flea, or vice versa? This is where theoretical physicist Paul Steinhardt comes to the rescue. The acrobat on the tightrope is huge compared to the thickness of the skinny rope. This is why the tightrope feels like a one-dimensional line. The acrobat would move forward and backward but never attempt to walk around the circular direction of the rope. And there are two reasons for that. One, the acrobat will fall down due to gravity. And second, the acrobat is too big to go around. But a flea walking on that same rope could go forward, backward, and around the rope. The flea could also crawl down the side of the rope and even underneath it. This analogy is the easiest way to understand the string theory, which suggests that extra dimensions are curled up into little balls. Creatures bigger than the ball, like the acrobat or us humans, can only move through the regular three dimensions. However, tiny particles not limited by their physical form can move through the three dimensions and in the extra dimensions. Now, to understand parallel universes, replace the tightrope with a sandwich. The two flat surfaces, or two pieces of bread, represent two parallel universes, and between them is space-time, which we will assume is peanut butter. So, how does an acrobat or flea move from one bread to another, since they can't go through the peanut butter? It is possible if we can bend or warp space-time to join the two parallel universes, but to achieve something like that, you'd need a massive amount of energy, like a black hole or a wormhole which you can imagine as squishing the sandwich together in one spot with your finger. Once a pathway is created between the two universes, both the acrobat and flea can move from one universe to another. Do you think Javier experienced something similar? Did he unknowingly travel through a wormhole into a parallel world that is connected but still inaccessible from our own? Tell us your opinions in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.